All right, on the bench, <clears throat> working on out of a 2018 Chevy Colorado rear wheel drive 6L50 transmission. All right, and this came from wholesale account, it was slipping, flaring on the shifts. We got the okay to do the job. So I have it on the bench and I'm working on it. So of course, one of the things that I did order to do this overhaul is a banner kit, which consists of a TransTech overhaul kit, all OE molded pistons and Exidy frictions. So I got everything pretty much ready to go. Now, before I do the final assembly, I like to what's called air check the clutch packs. Very important because if anything is wrong and you find anything leaking, now is the time to fix it instead of putting it, of course, back in the car and the transmission does not work right. So very important part of rebuilding is air checking. You know, on the rebuild videos that I've done, you see me air checking the transmission on the bench uh, when it's uh, uh, together, you know, before the valve body goes on, just to make sure everything is nice and solid and there's no potential issues that we may hear. So that's what I was doing with this. All right, so I have my one, two, three, four clutch and three, five reverse clutch on the stator. Uh, everything is rebuilt. I have new rings, I have new seals, new bolted piston in here, new clutches. Everything is rebuilt and I go to air check it and I air check this and I'm getting nothing you know when you also when you air check <clears throat> I tend to you know you should use very little air you know I got probably 120 pounds 130 pounds of air coming out of my compressor you don't want to pump that in here because any leak that there may be may be missed and you might say oh yeah this is air checking good so I use little air you know 40 50 pounds uh, to apply the clutch, see if it holds it, make sure I hear nothing leaking. There may be bleed holes or something where there may be a controlled leak, you know, which basically I know about uh, with depending on what transmission I'm working on. But for the most part, you want a solid air check. So um, I do my four, five, six clutch drum. That was perfect. And now I'm doing this drum because I'm ready to put this together. And I'm air checking down here and I'm getting nothing absolutely nothing okay you know maybe I, uh, I didn't even really put any grease on it but I did uh, to hold the rings together because they're like the best bell rings the hard plastic um, but of course I put a little grease on it you know just so the drum will slide down easy no problem so I thought maybe you know the, the grease is holding the ring it's not letting it expand so then you can do what's called a wet air check all right, you can fill the port with transmission fluid and then pump air in there to simulate, you know, you, you air check it to simulate a, a, a fluid pressure uh, to apply the clutch. And, you know, the fluid will get in there, explain the rings, and usually get a decent air check. Well, I still got nothing. And I said, wow, you know, I can't put this thing together. You know, put it back in the car, drive it down the block, bring it back in, pull it back out again. So let's figure out what's going on. So I know when I put this drum together, everything went together smooth. I had no issues with the drum. So I'm thinking, you know, let me take these rings off, <clears throat> put the OE rings back on, and let's see what happens. Well, I did that, and the air check was perfect. So there's something going on with those rings. Now, this is a TransTech kit, which is my kit of choice. So I'm gonna be calling the, I know the technical uh, head of the technical department over there uh, so I'll be calling him and letting him know what happened and he'll probably want me to send these rings back to him so he can look at them so we're gonna air check this now I left the rings on here um, you know from the banner kit and you know this is my this is my kit here you know it's in a trans star bag but it's a, a trans tech overhaul kit the rings were in this bag you know, rarely, rarely, rarely have a problem with this stuff, but I'm not really sure <clears throat> what happened here. <clears throat> you know, even, honestly, even in the overhaul kit I got, um, there should be probably a couple of different uh, seals, because it depends if you have a, a four-wheel drive or a rear-wheel drive. I got two of the same seals, they're both wrong. I seem to, you know, maybe have like an extra O-ring or two that already is in the kit. So I'm not really sure what happened during the assembly of this, this overhaul kit. <clears throat> but 
what I want to do now is get closer and we're going to air check, you're going to hear the total blow by that I'm getting air checking this and then I'm going to put the OE rings back on and we're going to air check it again, you're going to hear a big difference. All right, so let me get closer on top of this, we'll air check it, you'll hear it and then I'll swap out the rings. Okay. So you see I still got some transmission oil here from doing the, uh, the wet air check, but let's, you know, I put the rings back on and then I got a halfway decent 3.5 reverse check, but the one, two, three, four clutch, I'm really getting nothing on, but let's try this one first. See, that's not too bad if you can hear that. I wasn't really getting that before. I still don't trust these rings, but I'm using very little air. And now we're going to do the one, two, three, four. And I'm getting absolutely nothing. I have this trigger totally pulled, and I'm getting nothing. It's not even applying. And again, okay, that's what you want it to sound like. All right. Let's take this off. I'm going to take these rings off. They look like they, you know, they anchor themselves in so they do not spin. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go back with the OE rings. And the last one. Okay. Alright, so they're all on. Let's put our drum. Okay. And we'll do the 3 5 reverse again. Actually, even a little bit of a better air check. I'm using a very, very small amount of air. And you can hear it. And now we got total blow by on a one, two, three, four. So that's going to be the one, two, three, four now. You can hear it. Perfect. All right, let me get more on, on top here. Let me just uh, put you guys on hold for a second. And I want to get more on top of the drum. We'll air check it one more time. Okay, so first again, we'll do the three, five reverse on top. Need tiny, tiny bit of air, which is nice. And now we're going to do the one, two, three, four, which uh, of course you heard was so bad uh, with the other rings. Very little air. So of course these OE rings, I have to reuse them. And these, which you know, if you look at them, they look perfectly fine. And. They're all the same, so it really doesn't matter which, you know, land they go on, but there is a problem with these. Maybe they're uh, too thin or, or some kind of imperfection, but it doesn't even apply the one, two, three, four clutch. So we would have put this thing in, put it in drive, and it wouldn't move. So that's the importance of air checking. You would definitely want to air check your drums before you put them together, before you put the transmission together. You know, make sure, of course, you have the clutch pack in with the snap ring so the piston doesn't pop up too high and potentially tear the seal. So, 
this is good now, and then I'll call them tomorrow and tell them what's going on, and I'm sure they're going to want me to send them the rings back. So that's it. I just kind of wanted to share this little video with you guys. I was in the middle of building this unit, and I came across that, and, and uh, again, before I took this drum apart, which I, I knew I put together correctly, and it went together nicely, <coughs> Uh, that I probably had a problem with the ring. So that's the first thing I did, and I got a totally different result with the OE ring. So when you're doing these units, you know, if you, if you have access to air, which I hope you do, you really want to air check this stuff and make sure that you got good clutch apply. Now when I put this transmission together in the case, I'm going to check it again. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to check it again here and the other one here for the 456. All right, so that is it. Quick video on this. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next one.